All right, how's everybody doing? <clears throat> Sorry, I just get it cranked up there. Uh, I had to do, um, I did make a, I was watching my video again. I am truly my own worst critic. And so some, some mistakes that I did make when I said, I referred to that as the 11th hour when obviously it's midnight. I mean, they're saying it's done. Some one subscriber said this was ash, not really snow due to nuclear. Um, it looks like America is beginning to fall before the towers do come down. Um, uh, which could, could there be some sort of catastrophic event with their made up racial tension, which of course they orchestrated all. Um, they, these are all, sorry, these are all actors in the game, of course, that perform these events. So the flag is ripped and then Trump goes down. So that was something, the 12 o'clock was something I missed, but I think finally, I'm going to go ahead and make an executive decision that he is tied to the technology. So it will be the rebirthing through the technology, just like all the rest of the humans will go through. Again, the mark of the beast. And I, I have left something out. This is the only channel that teaches um, hell is not eternal torment. God doesn't love everybody. He only created and knew his sheep at the foundation of the world. That's why Jesus says, I never knew you. He really meant, I never knew you. He only knew his sheep from the foundation of the world. So I, I teach that. It's on my playlist. We teach there is no free will. Free will is Catholic. And free will wasn't even taught in this country until the late 1800s when Virgin Maryland took over, which is what Virginia and Maryland are about, Virgin Maryland. And, but we also teach uh, Trump will be assassinated, that he will see, receive the deadly wound. And... But the one thing I left out that we also teach that somebody thanked me for in the comments was that we teach that it's ghost in the machine. We teach that Satan is in the computer, which is what QAnon is, which writes a ton of your big movies that tie all this predictive programming together. And the Satan has been in the technology for a very long time. There's a 1958 TV show titled Track Down with a man named Trump who's gonna build a wall to save everybody. And then he gets shot at the end. So Satan's been writing the script, well, at least before 1958. And when I, uh, I think it was part two, I said Madonna's um, Corona when they were all wearing the mask and had the wreaths on their head, that it was on May 14th. And I said it was 2019. I said that was 72 years after it. No, it was 70, 71 years because it was 1948. So I catch little mistakes that I make. Uh, thankfully, the Lord hasn't allowed me to have, make any big ones. But yes, that's the technology because it's always showing the eye inside of the television set monitor. So it's all what it's the technology that's rebirthing him. Just like the mark of the beast will be the technology that rebirths all of us. So I want to clear that up. But there's some other things I wanted to show y'all. New television show next about artificial intelligence. Here is information from Wikipedia. She didn't say it that time. Hmm. Let me try it one more time. Fox television series titled Next about artificial intelligence. Here is information from Wikipedia. Well, when I was prepping it, she read it to me. And uh, that's what I read. Fox News series is about artificial intelligence. Let me say it like that. New Fox series next is about artificial intelligence. Here's a summary from Fox 10 Phoenix. The show follows Silicon Valley pioneer Paul LeBlanc, a founder of a tech company who creates a new AI program. So 
that is coming up now. Fox means 666. And if we Google search that, Fox stands for 666 in numerology. It's Pythagorean numerology. Fox is 666 in Pythagorean numerology. So that's what Fox News is all about. Fox, which of course is all about Trump. <laughs> 666 six, six, Fox. And that's simple numerology right there. You got one through nine, you got the alphabet A through Z. So that's why they call themselves Fox News. And of course, it was Michael J. Fox that was Back to the Future, which was about Trump. Back to the Future 2. They even admitted they based the character off of Biff. Biff, he had casinos and all that. And there were these scenes where Michael J. Fox gets fired, and this the guy goes, You're fired. And then off this uh, printer, it spits it out, you're fired, you're fired, you know, decades before Trump's TV show. So there was another television show I wanted to show you. So hang on, I'm prepping right now. All right, red light is on. <clears throat> so CBS has got a new show called The Unicorn and The Unicorn is the Illuminati's Antichrist. Unicorn is a symbol for the Antichrist. When you click images, remember he's called the little horn of Daniel 7, the Antichrist is. And Jesus said, I come in my father's name and ye receive me not. But if one comes in his own name, in other words, if one comes as the, a horn, then a trump is a horn. He's here in his own name. Um. When I've Googled it before, it's given me better images. There's the rider on the white horse with the unicorn. If you go to all, why the unicorn has become the emblem of our times. Unicorn hunters. This actually is a Catholic, <laughs> which I'd say run head for Z Hills, anything that's Catholic, but they're telling you the truth. It's the Antichrist. Um, unicorn as symbol of Antichrist. Anyway, that's what it is. It's got a big horn coming out of its head, and it's symbolic of the horn of Daniel 7. And of course, CBS has a new show coming out titled Unicorn. So thought that was interesting. These are just kind of tidbits I'm, I'm going through. Um, my friend Holly Ann, uh, the, the last one I did that was pretty deep, and uh, she got the depth of it also, and it, it affected her um, listening to that song. Um, said she didn't really like, you know, she can't really watch I Pet Go, but she really, she really threw something out there that I thought was super interesting, and I wanted to share. She said yesterday was our big 1010 tenant. And Donald Trump's first appearance since he received his crown. And I, I, you know, I didn't think about that. So um, in 21 days before Halloween, which when we think he will be removed, 1111 has always been a big deal for them too. Um, 1118 is 59 days after the real guy that Christian Bale played died after he won the 24 hours of Le Mans and this year's 24 hours of Le Mans was moved to September and 59 days after it would be November 18th. So Christian Bale always plays Donald Trump and that's the day Christian Bale's character died. So that's a date to look for. And of course, and you know, a couple of days before the November full moon, these are backup dates, but we're, we're looking at what IPEC goat showed us. But I just thought that was um, it was a very sweet note that Holly Ann wrote. If you want to read it, go to it. It's in my last iPad go to completed because I went all the way through it. Now, today, obviously, you know, I'm correcting a few things that I, you know, like I do think it was the t is the technology. But the way she picked up on um, that 10, 10, 10, it was his first appearance after receiving his crown, his corona. I thought that was 
Excellent. Um, <clears throat> the Donnie Darko. Well, let's let's do this one first. Shaking My Head Productions, which I think is artificial intelligence. I think possibly Angel White is artificial intelligence. Um, anytime they're showing you a lot of movie clips, television clips, old television clips, old movie clips, you never hear anybody speak. They never, it's just like, it's just a YouTube video created. All of that can be done by artificial intelligence. And Shaking My Head Production says 232,000 subscribers. So the ghost in the machine could be pushing that, of course. And they have a ton of good stuff. I've learned so much stuff from Shaking My Head Productions and Angel White and so forth. But I don't know that it's a real person in either one of them. And Angel White actually came on to my comments and lambasted me concerning the doctrine of free will. And I wondered, is that was that a real person doing that? Because on a computer, a computer can can type to you. But they did one called Full Blue Moon Halloween, October 31st. I see the bad moon rising. And, and it's their job to tell you the truth, but mix in a lot of lies. So and then it's it didn't, the video ended up going all over the place. But I was like, OK, let's see how much they revealed. I want you to know they cryptically show you the full moon from my pet coat, the Day of the Dead, and then just get right off of it and never come back to it, never speak to it. And I was just astounded. So let's, so we don't get a copyright strike for going through their work. A blue moon will be with our trick or treaters. Unlucky. Full moon. Watch how they quick, they just cryptically give us the iPad go to. It's coming up. And like we said, maybe Halloween was always meant to be Halloween. So they're giving us this from my pet go to, which you know, I've just done three videos on it. It's not the iPad go to music, but there's the Day of the Dead. That's a Mexican celebration called the Day of the Dead that begins on Halloween. It's three days, and wouldn't the Antichrist rise symbolically on the third day? And so they're giving it to us. And there she looks bummy. And then they, they just move right off of it. They never come back to it. I think one other time, maybe. Um, anyway, I, I thought that was interesting. Again, this video here is just a bunch of little tidbits I'm sharing with you. We did the unicorn. Donnie Darko had a poem called what? Donnie Darko, remember, stands for Donald Darkness. Um, and it was also about time travel, just like Back to the Future, <laughs> along with Tenant, all of it. Um, Samantha Darko, The Last Unicorn. Um, that's the poem that he reads. It's called The Last Unicorn. So, Poetry Day. Well, here it is. storm that will swallow oh, this is interesting a storm is donnie darko who stands for donald darkness donald trump is telling you about the coming storm which we just did in the last we showed you the iPad goat is taking place during a storm and storm symbology, snowstorms. 
and we showed you Donald Trump going, standing with all this military going, maybe this is just the calm before the storm. And then we showed you in the movie, The Dark Knight Rises, Batgirl says, there's a storm coming, Mr. Wayne. You folks better batten down the hatches. So in here, Donald Darkness, Donnie Darko is reading a poem called The Last Unicorn. Unicorn stands for Antichrist because Trump is the last Antichrist. Remember, five have fallen. We'll go over that Bible verse, why it's the why he's the last unicorn. Storm is coming, Frank says. Frank says. Storm. Remember, Frank was his alter ego spirit, or basically Satan, who was pushing Donnie Darko or Donald Darkness throughout the movie. Storm that will swallow the children. Storm that will swallow the children. And I will deliver them from the kingdom of pain. I'll deliver the children back to their doorsteps. I'll send the monsters back to the underground. I'll send them back to a place where no a storm is So it didn't show him looking at the poem that actually said the last unicorn it says the last unicorn by samantha darko but he actually looks at the sheet of paper last unicorn by samantha darko there was last unicorn by samantha darko there was last unicorn okay. by samantha darko that's the other scene i guess so you get the idea that is the last unicorn um of course, Angel White showed me that. In the video. The last unicorn, these were the others. Five have fallen, the Bible verse says, because Nebuchadnezzar was saved. He wrote Daniel four, five are fallen. One, two, three, four, five. And then he's the last. So when you read the Bible verse, it says the beast that was, it's before he dies, and is not, and that's when he disappears, and yet he is the eighth, and is of the seven. And we've also shown you Donald Trump saying, Napoleon, Alexander the Great, Donald Trump, were all cut from the same cloth. There's something I wanted to show y'all there. We can go real speed. Need to turn it up. Get the speed up. Napoleon, Alexander the Great, Donald Trump, we're all cut from the same cloth. So then you go to the Bible verse. And there are seven kings, five have fallen. Remember, there's seven, there's eight. There's eight, there's seven, because the eighth is of the seven. Five have fallen, and one is. And the other is not yet come. So it's Trump the seventh, then the one that's not yet come is the eighth, but he is of the seven. And when he comes, he must continue a short space. And the beast that was... Trump before he's removed and is not Trump 
as he's when he's removed, no longer here, even he is the eighth, that is when he returns. And he is of the seven. Why? Because it says the beast received a deadly wound by the sword, but did live. Revelation 13, 3, 13, 12, 13, 14. He had a deadly wound, but 1314 literally says a beast by the sword, but did live. So let's close out. No, oh, I've got I've got two more things I want to show you. Um I just got through watching the first season. It wouldn't give me the second. I thought I paid for the whole thing. Strange Angel by CBS, which was about Aleister Crowley and Jack Parsons and how they were creating a moon child in 1976. I mean, 1946 when Trump was born. It's called Babylon Workings. And they, they did it from March until May or something like that, or January to March. It was, it was over a three month period. And the series was released on June 14th. I think it was 2019. And, um, or tw maybe 2018, but they released it on Trump's birthday. And I showed y'all the opening scene on my videos. My one title, Donald Trump is the Antichrist part 21 and then Moonchild Antichrist part 21.5. So when you check that out and it shows the show, it shows it opening up. All right, I wanna put Strange Angel accidentally. We'll mute it. It literally opens up with a full moon. I mean, excuse me, not full moon. Trump was, Trump was born under a lunar eclipse full moon, not just any full moon. And it opens up under a lunar eclipse, what they call a blood red moon. And the first things that there says the beast went this way. The word the beast was the first thing mentioned and it showed the blood red moon that Trump was born under. Well, when you go to this Babylon working, I wanna play this for you. Sorry, I hit the wrong button. You know, five paper, Einstein actually wrote it. Hey, we're going to clarify. Oh, no. Whoops. I hit the wrong button and I lost it. Apparently, he. Apparently, he. They're creating a moon child. It's talking about Jack Parsons, who apparently was the father of rocketry and all this kind of stuff. This is from um, his letters, like you could read this, and he's reading this from these letters. Or Ron or somebody is producing. Ron or somebody is producing a moon child. They were doing these very deep satanic rituals out in the desert. I, I believe it was the desert. And they did it for three months. Seeing a moon child. And of course, the full letter is in uh, the description in the box. That's right. That's what it was. Babylon Workings, Parsing's Hubble, Strange Angel, last season, Satan's Plan, Moonchild, Book of Toth. So this was what he was reading from by Aleister Crowley. And 
the Babylon working, which is what they were doing. The Babylon working was a series of magic ceremonies of rituals performed in, from January to March 1946, before, right before Trump was born, by the author, pioneer, rocket fuel scientist, occultist, Jack Parsons, and Scientology founder, L. Ron Hubbard. The ritual was essentially designed to manifest an individual incarnation of an archetype divine feminine called Babylon. The project was based off the idea of Alistair. And of course, divine feminine is what Trump's upside down hand, sing hand signal is for. As Trump always sits like that, You see the upside down pyramid that was from a star wars movie and i did a video on hand signals but trump always sits with that upside down pyramid and that's what it's for it's moon worship he was born under the lunar eclipse it's a feminine symbol of worship and trump of course has the upside down pyramid of six by six by six bushes at trump tower now, this is just uh, typical of how Trump sits with it. In 2012, I've been doing IPET GOAT 2 breakdowns, and that's Trump sitting there with his upside down pyramid. And that's Trump again with his upside down pyramid. And Trump Tower has its own upside down pyramid of six by six by six bushes one two three four five six one two three four five six one two three four so it's six by six by six and it's upside down it stands for the woman i mean if, if you ever stood straight staring at a woman at her reproductive area at the top of her legs, it sort of makes that, especially with uh, uh, her hair area where the reproductive organ is. So that's what it's all about. It's, it's all about the divine feminine. Ah, I forgot to show you that, didn't I? I did, I did, I did. I just showed you one. But that's what it is, the divine feminine or notice earth under attack that stands for mother earth it's all about lucifer lucifer is the female transgendered version of satan and so this one was interesting magazine cover um the world in 2020 it says twin 2020 trump exit because it just said the world in 2020 and it had trump and then it was just like an eye exam but it does say twin trump exit that was the economist magazine cover Economist magazine covers. Here are some pictures that match. world in 2020 the economist magazine twin in 2020 trump exit i mean we know he's not sticking around much longer so if you're telling that to your friends you're going to be right they're not setting us up for that type of failure they would love to but 
they know they've deceived the whole world so nobody's going to understand it anyway it's just for the few i don't have ten thousand subscribers folks i got less than 500. so that was babylon working i mean think about that they were summoning the spirit that would bore donald trump in 1946 because trump was born just months later June 14th, 1946. And the TV uh, show Strange Angel, the series, was about this. I haven't watched season two. I think I've got to, I thought I paid for all of it. Now they're saying I got to watch the rest through CBS. I pay $5.99 a month or something. Ugh, it'd be worth it, right? We're at the end, so it doesn't matter. But um, that's what they were doing. So I lost my train of thought. The last thing I wanted to show you, if you stuck around this long, I had some videos that I took your videos. Yes. This guy he talked he he was talking to donald trump on the phone he was a ufc guy and he talked about that dragon spirit seriously american steel i got the president of the united states dragon energy when i see you, when i see you. dragon energy <laughs> like what Now let's let you listen to him while he's talking to the president. I think it's while he's even talking to the president, he speaks of this dragon energy. Congratulations. I wanted to watch that fight tonight. I Thank wanted to watch it. You were great. Thank you so much, Mr. President. You gave me the dragon energy when you showed. You gave me the dragon energy. Ah. I don't know. It's a good way to close out, huh, folks? I mean, he's an Illuminati member. There's no doubt about it. Most of them in the UFC, of course, are. We've proven that many times over. Anyway, thank you very much. I love you.